Hey guys, it is Brido here, and welcome back to our GM Connected Winnipeg Jets series. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but I wanted to get back on the horse and uh, put one of these up for you guys. This is episode 6, or you could say 4. Depends, because I haven't done uh, episode 4 and 5, essentially, for the seasons. I probably will post those later on, so we'll call it episode 6. Uh, in this episode, I played three games uh, in this advancement period. Two of them were against the computer, and one was against my brother. So I wasn't able to get uh, you know all my games done, unfortunately. I had a couple games uh, against some people that just weren't online. And kind of the thing I'm going to go with is because I'm quite busy, you know, playing other games, doing other stuff, editing, and all that jazz. Um, what I'm going to be doing is that, you know, if I'm online, if you want to send me a message, I'll t you know, if I can, I'll jump on, play the game, and we'll get the game done. Because I want to play as many of these as I possibly can. But at the same time, too, I'm not going to go out of my way to, um, you know, contact you guys or whatever. So... If you want to, you know, if we're in the same advancement period, you want to play our game against me, just, uh, you know, let me know on the PSN if I'm online, see if I'm available, and if not, you know, I'll let you know, hey, we could play at another time or whatever, or, you know, just say, uh, yeah, sure, let's get this one going, so, uh, that's just, you know, a shout out to you guys when we play the games and whatnot, so, yeah, yeah I mean, like, I'm going to try and play as many as I can, but I'm not going to fuss if I do have to sim a couple and whatnot, so... In the first uh, game there, you can see we beat Boston, and Boston is an extremely tough team to face, uh, to be honest. I I was kind of surprised by how good they were, and I've been uh, hearing things about them too from my friends and whatnot in the league. They've been saying, man, it's really tough to beat Boston. I was kind of feeling the same way in that game. We did were, were able to win that one, but it was a close one. And same thing for a game against the Toronto Maple Leafs. It was a little bit of an easier one, but they really uh, you know, put the pressure on us late. You can see they scored two goals in the third period. They came back, and... Uh, we were just able to squeeze that one out, luckily, which was great for us, but at the same time, too, it was a little co uh, close for comfort. I like to try and, you know, gap, uh, you know, the games I play against the computer, because I feel like, okay, this is something I can handle. You know, playing on Superstar, it's not hard course. It's a little bit easier than the, the New York Islanders BGM series that I do. So I, I feel like it's, you know, something that maybe 80% of the time I should probably pull away with a win. And I've only, I think, dropped one game against the computer thus far against New Jersey. Um, so, you know, whenever it gets tight like that, I just start getting really uh, tense because you never know exactly if you're going to lose the game, especially with that one lucky goal waiting to happen. So here's the game I had against my brother, and you're probably seeing, uh, you know, wondering, why am I going down, he's going up? Well, the reason for this is because I went to my friend's house to play this game. He stayed at home. He recorded the game. We faced off against each other. And this is the biggest grudge match I have. You know, I have other friends in the league that I love playing against and whatnot. But he's the guy that I want to beat. We had this big rivalry uh, playing our games. And, um, yeah, he scores the first goal there. That was probably the worst goaltending decision I've made. And it was really late, too. If you go back and watch the replay there, you don't even see me come on my net till like, the last second. I'm like, I'm going to stay in net. I'm going to stay in net. No, he's going to probably score. I'm going to come on my net. I actually just barely missed it too, so it could have been a nice opportunity there for me uh, to get that puck, but unfortunately I got left stranded. It was a one nothing lead for Pittsburgh. Yeah, and jumping back to this, obviously I was saying that this is my brother, so he, he's younger than me, so I, I, I feel like I have a bit of an advantage over him, but you know, if I ever lose a game to him, he will hold it over my head for years and years, so these games get, like I said, very intense for us, and it's a lot of fun to play, obviously, because then we can, uh, you know, smack talk each other. And uh, in the next advancement period, we have two more games against each other. So it'll be fun to play those, uh, continue uh, this little bit of a, a beef that we got growing here after our, our one game that we had in this advancement period. So you can see going into the third period, he still has a one nothing lead. I was kind of like, okay, I gave him the goal, this isn't the end of the world, we're still in this one, this isn't, you know, we, we want to try a little bit more now, we got to get back in this game. It's only a one goal lead though, I'm going to be able to come back, it's not going to be a problem. And he scores this goal, and I was just like, okay, well, uh, now we only have 16 minutes left, and we're down by two goals. And I, at this point, tried to turn it on as best as I could, but he still, he was playing really well. He, he actually got that opportunity there once again, and it was a penalty shot, and I had to make the save on this one, and I was able to, a little bit of luck, because he just really ran into me. But still, we were able to hold on, uh, and now we're only two goals down, and at the 12-minute mark, we get our strike back here. And it's a lucky one. It, <laughs> Jokinen essentially drives himself into the side of Flurry, and he's still able to put that one away. I'm not sure how that one worked out for us, but it did nonetheless, and we get that goal there. So now we're only one goal behind. Pretty excited at this point. I'm thinking, okay, I got a chance. This isn't over yet. We still have an opportunity. And here's a nice opportunity for Kane. Passes over to Niskanen. That was a great save by Flurry there. I thought, oh, that should have been the one, but it just didn't turn out for me. And there's another opportunity going through the Pittsburgh players. We continue the play here as Bieksa cuts into the middle, takes the shot, and scores the goal. There in the, around the 4 minutes and 40 seconds, we get the second goal that we needed to get this game tied up. 
Uh, but at this point, though, there's a couple more opportunities that come, but it really... We uh, both knew at this point that we were going to OT, so the dreaded OT for me, I've lost six games in overtime. Not all my fault, some of them against the, or the computer, uh, adding to that number, but still, I haven't been doing good in the the, uh, the overtime. It's kind of like I just shut down offensively and I just let them score goals, whoever I'm playing against that is. And, uh, you know, I'm still po picking up the points from that, but it's not the best, and I was thinking this game, you know, this could go bad, but I was actually feeling pretty confident in this one comparatively. Because again, it's not against you know. I, sometimes when I play against people on the uh, you know online, I get a little shaky for whatever reason. I, I get intense of it. But you know, since I was playing my brother, my friend were over, or I was over at my friends, he was watching me play. I felt pretty confident this one. I wasn't shaky, and I was uh, trying to you know get that opportunity. But when I went to the shootout, I was pretty uh, worried because I'm not that great at the shootout here. But I'm able to score the first one here with a Vander Kane. He comes back with Sidney Crosby after that. He gets an opportunity, but I just kind of lunge out at him, and I luckily get the uh, puck there. Another uh, mistake could have happened for us, but luckily it did not. And here's our second goal there, as Blake Wheeler puts one away as well. So he has to score with Pavelski here, and he does not. So we get the win here, guys. A nice win for us. Um, overall, an important two points is that continues our, you know, standings at the top of the Eastern Conference. Uh, that's the end of this video, guys. You can see some of the summary here. I'm going to finish up with this. Next episode, I will have... Uh, two games against my brother once again another game against the computer and hopefully some more against you guys as well like i said just leave me a message if you want to play our game but until then stay tuned for the advancement recap episode i should have them up around the same time you guys can see what's going on with the league and uh yeah thanks guys for watching